I don't know what I'm doing. So I make a video about it. So this is the uh, Vernier Go Direct Sensor Cart. And let's use this to, and graphical analysis, to measure the acceleration of this car. Okay, so I actually already have turned this on. So, so you wanna make sure that light's blinking, see that? So you want a blinking light, and now I'm gonna go over to the computer, I'm gonna connect this. And I'm gonna show you some things, there's a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm gonna learn even more stuff with this. But for now, let's just do things that are simple. So let's switch over to the computer here. Um, let's see, is this one right here, okay. So I have graphical analysis open. And the first thing that I want to do is to go to sensor data collection because you could just like use this to graph stuff and I this program which is nice and it does work on the iPhone it works on the Android I'm using uh, a computer just because I find it easier that way so I'm gonna go right here sensor collection proximity con connect uh, and then it'll just it'll just hopefully find it let's just see okay connecting see it found it Okay, connection successful. Um, now, we, we do have some options here. There are a bunch of sensors in here. If you go to this little thing right here and click that, it shows you what sensors are on the cart. And I'm just gonna use position. So there's this little wheel on the bottom. And as that thing rolls, it measures position along the cart. So you don't need a motion detector. You don't need that encoder, which is really kind of nice. There's no wires and everything. Uh, I know for sure I'm gonna use uh, the four sensor later, but but not today Not today Okay, so let's just and you, there's acceleration too. I'm just I'm just gonna use the position and that's all I want and Right there boom now. I already have that. I have two graphs already set I'm just gonna collect data and then we can analyze it and see what happens So I'm gonna take my little cart right here. I'm gonna put it on the track I'm not gonna let it fall up here at the top. I'm gonna click collect And I'm gonna give it a little push it goes up the track and then back down. And I'm gonna let it stop on its own because if I try to collect again, then what happens is I make a mistake and actually start something and delete it. This, it has two graphs right here. It has, uh, uh, this one automatically did position and velocity. You can change how many graphs you have up here, but I'm just gonna leave it. You can get the data table, you can change all that stuff, but let's keep it simple. Let's look at this first position graph right here. I want to measure the acceleration. So if I have position versus time, uh, I'm not even gonna write on the board. Then we have the kinematic equation that shows the acceleration one half a t squared, which is a quadratic equation. So I wanna fit a quadratic function, a parabolic function to this data. I'm gonna highlight the part of the data that I want just by dragging. And then I'm going to click I'm gonna click uh, strike through, apply curve fit. See, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, apply curve fit. And I do not want a line, I want a quadratic. And I'm gonna click apply. And right there, it gives me these values. It says um, my A term is negative 0.1352. So that's one half times acceleration. So the acceleration is twice that. And you can move this around and stuff like that if you want. Also, this is true for Logger Pro. I can actually grab these little hand. I think I can grab these. Could I grab those? I thought I could. Yeah. No. Maybe you can't. Again, I'm just learning. That's fine. Maybe what's this do right here? Activate to show uncertainty. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's do that. Oh, you gotta have the pro. That's fine. This is the free version. Okay, I thought you should be able to do that, but that's fine. In worst case, you could always just make a new one. Let's go down here to the velocity versus time graph. So in the velocity versus time graph, the slope of, it, if it has constant acceleration, the slope should be the acceleration. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do something different. I wanna look at the, the acceleration going up the incline and down the incline, two separate accelerations. And they should be the same unless there's friction. And if there's friction, then the acceleration going up the incline is gonna be greater than the acceleration going down the incline because of the direction of friction changes. Let's go up here and just make one graph. And I'm gonna change this to velocity. 
in there that you can kind of see already uh, that, oh, I don't want to, I want to change this to just velocity. I was kind of confused right here. It says velocity G. Um, I'm not sure why they put that big G there, but it kind of confused me at first, but I think it's just what it does. So, so that's that. So I just have velocity versus time. So you'll see here that it starts off with some positive velocity and then it's slowing down as it's going up the track until it gets to this point right here where it's at uh, a zero velocity. And that's where it turns around and comes back down. So let's measure the acceleration just going up. I'm gonna start over here and just kind of get that part and then apply a curve fit, a line right there. And I get an acceleration as a slope, negative 0.303. Now let's see if I can add another curve fit right here just by highlighting this part. And I'm going to click Apply Curve Fit, Linear. And I get a slightly different. So you'd, like I said, the acceleration is greater over here going up the plane because going up, as it's going up, the gravity, the component of gravity pulls that way and friction's that way too. But going down, they're both, wait, they're both in the same direction going up. But going down, they're in opposite directions, so they work against each other. Okay, so I think that's a good start, right? That's a good start to this uh, graphical analysis. There's a whole bunch of stuff that we can do. Let's go ahead and look at the table, the data table. There's our data table. So if I did want to export this to maybe something like Python, if you want to use um, a spreadsheet for graphing, which I would not recommend, but a lot of people love spreadsheets. You got to do you. I'm not going to use a spreadsheet. This is way better for graphing anyway. Um, but you could export that and do whatever you want to do that. Uh, there are graph options over here. Let's see, the legend. I think that's enough that I don't really want to get into uh, too much stuff. But graph match, I click that. Oh, okay, so this is just a see if you can match this graph. That's kind of a fun game. Okay, there you go. You can save this file, save it to your uh, online storage system or wherever, and then you can pull it back up because you can download graphical analysis on your phone. You can download it on your computer, and you can use it. So there you go. But we're going to be using these in lab. Oh, I do want to point out one thing that I really appreciate. Let's just switch over here. So this is the Vernier cart. This is actually a Pasco track, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But it still works. And I really like that because I have a lot of these tracks. So you can you can still put the, the Vernier cart on the Pasco track and make it along. The end. <laughs>